I mean, it's beautiful scenery. So this is beautiful Belgrade. Check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So right now I'm in the middle of pedestrian street. So you should have seen my other video where I'm just walking around here. But the reason why I'm recording this video now is just to uh, show you how a park looks like in Belgrade. This is a very nice park actually. I've been to it once and I'm gonna to go to it. This is the second time I'm gonna go to it. But it's uh, very beautiful. And I wanna show you just how it is to like be in a park in the middle of Belgrade. So I'm right now I'm in the central part of Belgrade. If you don't know, if you didn't watch my other video, I'm in the central part of Belgrade. And I wanna show you how this park looks like. And I'll also leave the description of like where exactly I'm at in the comment section below. But check it out, it's very crowded right now. It's actually a Saturday right now, Saturday evening. Look at this beautiful. I guess there's like some rail rail system that goes through this road so we just entered the park so this is how a Serbian park looks like I'm sure not every park looks the same but this is how it is in uh, Belgrade a lot of cool things to see so we have some so here's a sign of the park you can see it's in English and it's in uh, Serbian language and then if I just uh, show you over here, a lot of cool trinkets and stuff. Hello, so they have a lot of nice things. Also, they have I guess silly string over there. That's crazy, crazy string. Some ice cream. A lot of uh, souvenirs for foreigners, which I I might get some souvenirs, but later on. I'm not sure, but the thing is, is you know when you're traveling, you don't want to have too much things with you. I would love to get some souvenirs from here, but you understand. Check it out. It's a nice park and I don't know why they have a lot of like statue heads over here. I might actually in a couple days I should be meeting uh, one of my Serbian friends and he could explain it to me. But you see they have a lot of like statue heads. See also has it there. I guess it's certain like public figures. This guy's enjoying himself. Do I have any change to give him? Uh, no, I don't, unfortunately. Actually, yeah, I do. Let me give this guy some change. Thanks. <laughs> Happy guy. So let's, let's go to the center. I'll go to the right a little bit. And then, yeah, go to the center. Go to the right. And then after that, I'll show you on the left. That's where the most beautiful scenic area is. It's nice, you get some popcorn, you see there's some popcorn right over there. Some Coca-Cola, some drinks. Very beautiful. And you can see this greenery is nice. I miss the greenery because uh, when you live in a big city, many times you don't see a lot of greenery just because of the concrete city. What I love about in Belgrade, you can have uh, the contrast. You, know, you can see big buildings, but then you can also see a nice greenery park, which is awesome. Because many big cities, unfortunately, you know, because a lot of it's a concrete jungle as they say so you don't see a lot of greenery which is nice in Belgrade they have this you see let's see if we go on nice big statue nice trees that's clean you see on the ground they don't really have any trash or anything like that it's pretty clean what do you think it's clean over here the trees are nice. It seems like this area is well maintained. Like they don't, they cut the grass well, which is good. Wow, let's see the statue. A la France. I don't know what that is, a la France. Check it out. I think actually I'll go towards the right. <laughs> this is the statue. It's of a person. I can't really see. All I can see is some breasts, it's a leg, and a hand. Interesting. It's of a lady, for sure. Okay, let me see. Let me go towards the right, as I said, and check out more of this beautiful 
place. That's some old historical building over there for sure. Just do not know what it is right now. Once I get my Serbian friend, hopefully he can uh, show us more, give us more of an understanding of this area. Or even maybe of a different area. People are playing tennis. Nice. Sorry, uh, sir. Screaming babies. Dinosaurs. So they have everything. They have tennis, screaming babies, dinosaurs. They have everything over here. Some sort of like castle place. Oh, look at this robe. Cobblestone style over here. Oh, they have more dinosaurs actually. It's actually, I did not see this last time I was here. Oh, that one's actually moving. I don't know if you can see, it's like an electronic dinosaur. That was moving, but I don't know. It's not moving. Oh, there we go. I think that's great for the kids. If you have any kids, this is definitely a nice area to go to. Some trolley. Check out these dinosaurs. So yeah, this is how a uh, park looks like in central Belgrade. And make sure you hit that like button. If you made it this far, you have to hit the like button, okay? Support me. And then let's see what else they have over here. Some older, some older building over here. Oh, they have a basketball court. Man, I miss basketball so much. Looks like they're about to have a game or something. You see the fans are about to watch. Looks like a teenager basketball game for kids. Wow, this park has a lot of stuff. So this park is gigantic. I think literally if I wanted to show the whole park, it'd probably take an hour. So I'm just gonna show you all these highlights basically. So we have a nice basketball court. There's tennis over there, dinosaurs. Look at these bricks too. You tell it's been here for a long time. It's some good quality bricks. If you don't know, I actually like some newer places will put bricks, but it's very low quality. You can tell this place has been here for a long time. Oh, here's the basketball court. Oh man, I miss the basketball court so much. I even know they had a basketball court over here. I, I like usually when I was younger, when I was in college, high school, middle school, elementary school, I played basketball. But the last few years I haven't played basketball. Oh man, it's a pity. Let's see what else over here. I think the, ah, it's another tennis court. It's cool. So they have a tennis court on both sides. All right. Well, it's about to be sunset right now. So I think I'm going to turn back and I'm going to show you the part that I really like. Because the first time I came here, probably like over here was you could see some waterfront beautiful thing so I'll show you what I'm talking about so this is part of the park I think I showed you like 50% of it and then I want to go to the waterfront area and show you more of it okay so I'll see you there okay so now I'm walking towards the waterfront area so if you saw the beginning I was here yeah I saw this big statue now I am towards the waterfront area this vendor he has candy canes popcorn Also drinks, you guys can see how much it drinks. 100 for water, 140 for Sprite, Cola 140, which is like a, exactly like a dollar 40. You can see the conversion rate from Serbian dinars to USD dollars, 100 Serbian dinars is actually about $1. So it's like 99 point something, so it's basically the same. So that's interesting. So 100 of their money is $1. So it's easy to convert, which is awesome. Because sometimes when I go to other countries, I have to think in my mind, oh, how much is this worth? Is it worth it? This and that. So it's nice. And then over here, you can see there is a lot of uh, older men. They're playing chess. 
Well, actually, right now, just two people, but last time there was more. It's nice. Older chess. I love I love playing chess. That's also another thing I haven't played in a long time. Chess and basketball. I miss. I'm actually pretty uh, I'm pretty decent at both. So if you ever if I ever meet you and you want to play with me chess or basketball, no problem. We can do it. We're walking towards the beautiful this area is very scenic actually. Which I think it's one of the most scenic areas of Belgrade, so this is the reason why I wanted to record this park in particular. Because when I came here the first, actually it was the first night I came here, I was like, man, this is so awesome, so beautiful. You literally see like half, I don't even know what part of the city you can see, but you see like half the city or whatever, but it's beautiful. You know what I'm talking about? Wow. Can you see it? Don't worry, I'm gonna bring this camera closer. Hope I'm not shaking the camera too much. Okay, let's check it out. This is the scenery of the beautiful Belgrade. You see over there, they have them some tower cranes. There's a waterfront over there, some older, Historical houses over here. It's nice. And you can see across also in the waterfront, you can see there's a lot of boats. Waterfront boats, which is like boat houses or something. And I hear some music too. I don't know if you guys can hear the music too, but it is beautiful scenery. So this is beautiful Belgrade. Check it out. Man, I love over here. It's so nice, especially when you're like, you know, when you're done with the whole day, you just come here and just relax. Get something to drink, get something to eat, and just come over here. You see many people are just relaxing over here. Show you more of this beautiful scenery. I don't know if you guys can see from the far distance, it's a little bit red, that's where the sun is, but uh, because, uh, because of the clouds, you can't really see the sun, but look at the sky. Uh, there's a lot of birds flying. Look at this. Even uh, the day before yesterday when I was here, I saw many birds flying. See over here, there, they're flying towards the area. Very beautiful. So what do you guys think of this area? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your feedback. Like, this is beautiful, isn't it? Belgrade, Serbia. Definitely, if you come here, you come to this beautiful city, you should come here. Just enjoy it, sit down, relax. Enjoy this beautiful scenery. Hmm, there's two pathways over here. I haven't been down this pathway. I'll go down it a little bit. Show you guys a better view. Walk down this stony pathway. It's a little bit bumpy, so I'm probably shaking the camera a little bit. I'm trying to keep it stable as much as possible. Ooh, let's see what we have here. So it looks like down below there's a gas station, and what else? I just hear some music at the far distance. It sounds like there's some clubs or something over here. So interesting that some countries in the world, they're on lockdown mode. Like one of my friends, he's in the Philippines right now and he is like on 14 day lockdown. And then over here, people are just open, not wearing that much mask. It's interesting, the world, which I love, is because you see so many different countries, different contrasts. Some countries are very strict on the coronavirus situation. Some countries are not so strict. It just all depends on what country you're in. So it's very interesting. Wow, look at this. It's a long way down if you fall down. Easy, easy way to go. But I think there, 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 it looks like there's a pathway to come. You go from here and then you go all the way down. I didn't use a pathway, but check it out. More birds flying in the sky. Here, let me 
walk towards this way and it's pretty much of the park that I want to show. Just want to show you that they have also, have you guys ever heard of the country of Georgia? I know uh, in America we have a state called Georgia, but there's a country called Georgia, which uh, right now they are promoting their country, which uh, isn't so far from Serbia. I don't know how far it is, but still in Europe. You can see over here. I just want to show you guys real quick. So they're trying to promote the country of Georgia. So I have uh, 10 reasons to travel to Georgia. I've never been to Georgia and I'm not sure if I will, but it's cool. This is cradle of wine, delicious cuisine. First European civilization, which I don't know if that's true, but unparalleled culture. Wow, look at that house. That's that, wow, that's a beautiful house on top of this thing. Who would live there? Europe's highest settlement. So Georgia definitely has some stuff. And they have some more uh, boards over here just to show about how uh, Georgia looks like. So yeah, I'm about to just enjoy the scenery over here. Probably get something to drink, get some water or something. And just enjoy the sunset. So I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe, and just comment. Let me know. Let me know how you feel about the video. Because I want, I want to get some feedback from some people. I appreciate it. Because I love you guys. So catch you on the next one. Peace.